What's up, guys? Bearded Jeeper here, and today I've had several questions regarding the install of the grab bars that I did in Project Zip Tie. Uh, the questions range from how do I get the plastic piece off to how do I drill the plastic to make it so the handle actually mounts on the outside. I kind of did a bad job and kind of glossed over it in the video. Hopefully this will answer any questions you guys have on finishing up this install because I did a bad job of it on the first time. So let me get into it and hopefully this answers your questions. So first I'm gonna show you the hack job that I did because um, I poorly designed this, or I poorly executed this. Now, luckily enough, the handle actually covers Oops, upside down. The handle actually covers all this mess that I made on the pillar here. Um, what I would recommend doing is once you get this, um, once you get the nut certs installed, I would thread the bolts in a little bit. Like, uh, let me grab one of the bolts here. So, I would thread the bolt in and then I would put a dab of grease on the end of here and then I would get your plastic panel, get it all aligned right to here and then uh, press it against it and pull it off. So then you'll have a little grease blob where you need to drill. I didn't do that. You can do it my way, uh, kind of hunt and search. I thought I had it right when I first did it down here. I had to oval out these holes quite a bit to make it fit. But that's all you have to do uh, to mount the handle on the plastic is you just gotta drill some holes for the screws to go through or the bolts to go through. That's all you really have to do. And this panel literally just snaps off. It has uh, just a bunch of those uh, push pin clips so just be careful and if you get a screwdriver behind here uh, if, you, if you don't want to scratch it all up. I honestly don't care because this is going to be my wheel and rig, but uh, you can use those trim removal tools and you just pry this off. The biggest part is it's kind of difficult down in here in the door jam to actually get it uh, pulled out of the little crevice here. You kind of have to tweak this whole plastic piece a little bit but it's easy enough to do and you can get it out. And uh, if this is your, uh, if you don't have it as disconnected as mine, you probably will have to remove your little grab handle that mounts here on the side. But that's just a couple of screws. You pull that out and then you can, this literally just clips into here. Um, I don't, you shouldn't have to remove your visor. I had the visors off anyway. Uh, but you can if you want to that's just a couple of screws here that way uh, it's out of your way uh, for when you're Putting in those nut certs and stuff you need a kind of a lot of room in the windshields right here So it can be kind of tricky to get the big nut cert tool in here But that nut cert tool is definitely worth it and once you get those holes drilled um, you can just line this up here Kind of hard to do one-handed here. But you just keep threading these bolts in until you get it all snug. You don't want to tighten this down too much because this is only plastic and you don't want it to kind of push in and crack this piece at all. But that's all you have to do is make sure the holes are drilled and then get these all screwed in. So let me finish screwing these back together and I'll show you what the final product looks like. So that's what it looks like all installed with the plastic piece in place. Uh, like I said, it's pretty easy. You just gotta make sure you get your marks all squared away, drill a couple holes. Uh, but if you're off a little bit and you have to oval the hole out, this whole plate covers it. So you're not gonna see it when it's installed. And it's a nice solid grab handle still. It's holding up real well. Uh, you don't want to tighten these down super tight as well. I mean, you want them nice and tight so this isn't going to move. But if you go ahead and 
put all your might into this, you can have it where the nut cert will break loose and spin and then you're not gonna tighten up anything. But a tip, if the nut cert starts to spin, you can take all this off and sometimes you can take the nut cert tool and just spread it open a little wider and that might work to hold it in place. But if not, you can get a welder or somebody with a welder if you don't know how to weld or don't have a welder and just put a little tack weld uh, on the nut cert itself and that'll stop the spinning. I had to do that on the JK uh, on these rock sliders here. I had uh, some of the nut certs, I drilled the holes a little bit too big and they started to spin so a buddy of mine tack welded them in place. That was before I knew how to weld but uh, yeah, a little tack weld will hold them in place if they start to spin on you. But this is a real secure, tight handle. Um, and it looks good on the plastic. It just kind of sits on top of it and the holes just go right through the plastic into where those nut certs are mounted. Kind of back up as much as I can here in the Jeep. That's about where uh, I mounted mine. They kind of have it they, they say it's a universal design, so you can really, wherever you put the nut certs, you can mount it. Uh, this is where I like to have it. The only thing you gotta be careful for is where those little uh, pins push in uh, to hold this plastic piece on. You can't put it there, obviously, but you can put it anywhere else, up and, up and down this whole strip here. Um, I think this is probably the best spot, personally. I took it in that, that top square hole in the other hole in the bottom here, and it lined up really well. And it's nice and strong. I can shake the whole Jeep by it, so I think it's gonna hold up well for quite a while. So I hope that answers any questions you guys might've had on uh, the, the plastic piece. Uh, once again, I was really bad about the initial video and not going over in detail, uh, putting the plastic piece back on and drilling the holes and stuff. Uh, I guess I just assumed that it was easy to do, but it might not be for some people. It's just drilling a couple holes in the plastic, lining it, lining it up to where you have those nut certs, and uh, you should be all set. If you have any more questions or need any more pictures or anything, uh, just let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't seen the original install video, I will link that in the description below as well so you know what the heck I'm talking about. That's it, I just wanted to make this little video quick on a couple of the questions I had regarding this hand grip. Figured it was easier to make a video than try to explain it uh, through the little comment field. But if you have any more questions, leave them below. As always guys, stay bearded, stay jeeping. I'm out. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the bell so you get notified when I post a new video.